Welcome students today we are going to start chapter Indus Valley Civilization In the Indian subcontinent the first cities came into being in the valley of river Indus they were Harappa and Mohenjo-daro The ruins of Mohenjo-daro were found along the banks of the Indus river whereas those of Harappa were discovered on the banks of its tributary Ravi Both these townships and all other smaller settlements on the banks of the Indus and its tributaries are commonly known as Indus Valley Civilization and also as the Harappan Civilization named after first site discovered clues and evidences on the basis of which historians write history are known as sources historians use different types of sources to learn about the past the sources they chose depend upon the period of their study and the nature of their investigation we get the evidences from plates of copper dry palm leaves rocks and pillars stone walls clay tablets tools and weapons etc which our ancestors have left behind the first extensive excavation at harappa was started by sir rai bahadur sir dayaram sahani in 1920 in 1922 excavations were also carried out at mohenjodaro by r d benerji the excavation done at these sites tell us about the life and culture of the civilization like the indus valley civilization all important early civilizations developed on the banks of rivers these are called river valley civilizations there were four major river valley civilizations the indus valley civilization the chinese civilization the egyptian civilization and the mesopotamian civilization these civilizations are called the bronze age civilizations because the technology of making bronze items played an important role in the growth of cities Apart from Harappa and Mohenjo-daro other important sites of this civilization are Kalibangan in Rajasthan Roopar in Punjab Lothal in Gujarat Banavali in Haryana Alamgarhpur in Uttar Pradesh etc Let us have a look on cities around buildings of this civilization town planning is one of the unique feature of the indus valley civilization harappan cities were very well planned most of these cities were divided into two parts the upper town and the lower town the western part of the city was built on raised ground and archaeologists call it a citadel it was built on a massive platform or mound constructed of baked bricks 
द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट बिल्डिंग्स इन द सिटेडल एट हरप्पा व द ग्रेनरीज वेयर फूड ग्रेन्स वर स्टोर्ड दीज रेक्टेंगुलर बिल्डिंग्स स्टूड क्लोज टू द रिवर सो दैट ग्रेन्स कुड बी ट्रांसपोर्टेड ईजली एंड चीपली द सिटी ट्वेलर्स डिपेंडेड अपॉन दीज ग्रीनरीज फॉर देयर फूड रिक्वायरमेंट्स especially during famine days the largest granary had been found at mohenjodaro another important building at mohenjodaro was a huge public tank commonly referred as the great bath it is rectangular structure and resembles a swimming pool it is made of baked bricks There were steps leading to the bottom of the pool from two sides. Water from the adjacent well was used to fill the pool with fresh water and an outlet in a corner was used to drain the used water. Lower town was generally the eastern part of city. The common people probably lived in the lower town which consisted of smaller houses each house had a single entrance and one of every 3 houses had a well too many houses had a separate rooms a bathroom a kitchen and a well the houses of the common people generally one or two stories high rooms were built around a courtyard the houses were separated by narrow but straight lanes they were made of baked bricks of uniform size and of good quality harappan people had an excellent and well planned drainage system water flowed from the houses to the streets which had drains sometimes these drains were covered with bricks the street drains were equipped with manholes they had inspection holes at regular intervals to clean them harappan civilization had the first toilets with flush in the ancient world drainage system of harappan was very unique this shows that they paid great attention to sanitation and cleanliness houses and streets of mohenjodaro was properly planned the main streets of mohenjodaro were about 10 meters wide and 800 meters long The streets ran parallel to each other and were cut at right angles by smaller streets. They had round corners to enable the heavy carts to take an easy turn. Houses were made on both sides of the street. In the next part we will take up with main features of the civilization